this video, girl, this video is going to be long, so if you ain't prepared for that, just kidding guys. If you guys can't tell, I'm totally feeling myself because I have not worn makeup in a very long time. It's been like a week and I had so much fun playing with all sorts of new goodies from Wet n Wild and Colourpop. Ow, 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 my stupid hair. Anyway, I had all sorts of fun playing with new Colourpop goodies, Makeup Revolution, Elf, the new Elf Putty Primer. Um, like I said, some of the new Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection, the new Zodiac pigments from Colourpop, um, some new St. Ives goodies. So if you guys want to see some of my new, my new little goodies, <laughs> my goodies, if you guys want to see some of the new goodies I've been playing with, definitely just keep on watching. Do me a favor. Oh my god, wannabes. This video, <laughs> I'm, this is actually like kind of my second time filming because the first time I filmed I was in a hurry and so the look came out like total butt shit. It was awful. And so I'm kind of filming two videos in one now. That is, it's going to be a long video. So you want to grab some popcorn, grab some hot Cheetos, some shit like that. You, you're going to be here a while. Sorry. Anyway, so the last video that I filmed was a like kind of like full face new products because I just bought purse uh, I just bought stuff from Ulta and Colourpop and I used a lot of the products in that and I posted a picture on my Instagram of the look that I created but I just it wasn't up to par for my content so I'm not even gonna post that um I'm just not I haven't even had the desire to film it because I don't even think it's good or anything so I'm just not posting that I'm not wasting my time there um so I'm just gonna kind of like merge the videos into one also I cut my hair I did that I I, I was an adult and I went in and I trimmed off all my dead ends so can you tell if you couldn't tell you're not my real best friend so I'm just kidding. I literally trimmed like three inches off. Um, I can tell my hair used to come to like here. So I can tell personally, but you guys probably didn't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and start into this video. I do have more products to throw in because your girl just went on a little shopping spree at Walgreens, but I saved hella bucks. So I'll tell you guys about that stuff first before we get into it. Before we get into anything else, I want to show you guys this box that I received from Influencer. Now, I don't know what Influencer is. Sis. I received this same Ives box from Influencer. Influencer is an app that you can download, answer a few questions about yourself, stuff like that, and you get free stuff sent to you. So, this is the second box I've received from Influencer. This is the same Ives box, and it came with a St. Ives face mist. I've used this like once, but I'm not going to use it today. And it came with the St. Ives Hydrating Eye Gel and Hydrating Sheet Masks. I'm going to use these today just really quick while I talk to you about some of the products I got. So again, this is the St. Ives Hydrating Hydrogel Eye Mask Instant Hydration Hero. This hydrogel eye mask made with 100% natural eye extracts revives and refreshes tired looking skin. And there's cactus water and hibiscus in both this and the sheet mask, but the um, spray is lavender oil, so I'm not digging this lighting. I'm getting actually frustrated. Okay, so I turned the lights off back there because I feel like that's what was making the lighting all funky. So we're going to try this, but then this happens. I don't know if you can, oh hell no, but then it's like normal when I'm right here. I don't know. I'm really sorry if the lighting is bad. I'm just going to say that and move on. We're moving on with this video. So I'm going to go in with the St. Ives Hydrating Eye Gel Mask and I'm just going to put this on while I talk to you a little bit about 
why I've been slacking. So, what the hell? Oh, it slipped out. I was so confused for a second. I was like, it's paper? Like, okay, so here it is. It's like a transparent jelly. Oh my god, it's cold. So that feels really nice. Also, my boyfriend and my dog are here, so it might get noisy at times. Okay, that's like sticking really well. I don't even know if you can see it. Those one masks I had for my BoxyCharm literally slid over my entire face and I wasn't about it. So I really like these ones. We'll see if they do some deep puffing. But on to the next thing that I want to talk about. I placed an order on BoxyCharm and I'm kind of like really irritated because they just came out with freaking felt liquid eyeliners and all sorts of crazy colors and girl, like... I could have created a lot of amazing looks with those, so I'm really pissed off. I'm going to have to save those for next time. But I did get some goodies, some other goodies. And what I want to focus on right now are my brows. And I will get to the other stuff when we get there. So, and yeah, so I have used ColourPop's Precision Brow Pencil as well as the Brow Boss Pencil before. And I absolutely love them. So I just needed to buy a new one, and then I saw they had... This whole situation so I was like girl you have to buy it it was $20 so I got the pomade in black and brown the precision pencil in black and brown and the brow boss pencil in ash brown so and it all comes in this really cute like velvet packaging this for some reason is black it's a uh, brow gel and it's in the color black props won't use that but it's still cute that they like include it so, sis, I think I'm going to go in with the Brow Boss Pencil in Ash Brown and go ahead and just, like, go in on these brows really quick. Just create a little shape, a little something to them while this is sitting on my eyes, hydrating them. Oh my god, I hate dropping everything. Brows. I've been really into, like, a soft natural brow lately I don't know why I just have okay so as I was saying I haven't posted in a really long time I posted that one look when I got my makeup but it was like actual trash it was not that good I didn't give it my all and so I just like needed to put something out there because I haven't posted in so long but it's the weekend and it's my rest day so I started going back to the gym this week and it's really been taking up all my time I get off work at like 1 30 go to the gym come home go get my boyfriend from work come home do dinner get ready for bed and all that and then it's like I don't really have time for making looks so um that's why I've kind of been freaking absent and I'm really sorry. Sorry you guys, I have a really hard time talking and doing something at the same time. So I'm just trying to concentrate on my brows. I haven't done them in like a freaking two weeks. So I'm just like trying not to mess them up. So here we are with our little natural brow moment and I don't know I've just been liking it like this a lot better and I um what's the point of these lips they don't stay on um I'm just gonna go in and darken it up just a little bit with this black and brown precision pencil from Colourpop just to kind of define a little more okay so next we're gonna move on to base and I'm gonna take these guys off it's been they've been on for like 15 minutes now they smell so good i'm just gonna like stick them back in the pouch with all the juice so i can use them again that's a little life hack for you you don't gotta get rid of it so soon 
could always use it again just like get it back in there I don't even know if maybe they're like multi-use anyway but I do really like them they stuck on really well and it like absorbed into the skin like there's nothing left for me to even like massage in because it absorbed so good so it says that desert dwelling cacti and hibiscus known know a thing or two about hydration and both are known to help soften skin so I can't wait to try that sheet mask but those did a really awesome job of just giving me a quick little boost of hydration right now so next we can move into base and I do have two primers that I'm super super excited to use and show you the first one is this one from elf and this is the oh so popular um putty primer and this was like nine dollars I have used it once and it's like comparable to Tatcha silk canvas I don't own that but it just feels really nice I was really loving my makeup the day that I used this so I'm gonna be using that but first out of this Walgreens haul girl I didn't okay I'm really bad at like shopping and so I always go to Walgreens for new stuff like when new products come out Walgreens always has them first so I always go there and to pick up that kind of stuff and I have a beauty enthusiast card and like every so often they'll be like you have five bucks you can use or whatever so I do but today I asked the guy I was like how much money is on there like is there anything I can use I had like twenty dollars on there and so we broke up my purchase into like three different orders so I could use my points so that was really awesome I ended up saving 20 bucks on all this awesome stuff and I earned five dollars throughout the whole purchase process so I had a really good time at Walgreens today let me just tell ya and I'm so freaking pumped for these new products so the primer that we're talking about and a lot of the stuff let me just show you guys now we are going to be using the rose collection from wet n wild how cute lena is that you how cute are these little rose palettes they're all so pretty like the color palette the color story to these palettes i'm so excited for this one this is like it looks wet like this shadow up here so we're playing with those. They are limited edition and they were $5 each, which is not bad. Okay. I also got this brush, which like the way that they have this package to purchase, girl, they're gonna sell so many of these. I already know, I'm so lucky they had this one. Um, there was the eye brush there, but I heard it wasn't as soft or good. So I didn't purchase that one. I went with this one, it was $8. And it looks like a freaking rose and I'm probably legit not even gonna use this. I'll use it in this video, but I'm actually probably just going to keep this on display because, bitch, like, it's so freaking cute. Like, this is such a cute brush. Look at this. It's so cute. This is their blush brush, and let me tell you, it is so soft. This was $8. Like, hello? That's not even bad. And the part right here feels kind of cheap, but it's $8, and it's from freaking wet and wild so legit i'm probably gonna keep this displayed like this on my vanity i'm gonna use it today but again i just think it's so cute and it deserves to be displayed so yeah um let me get to what i'm talking about i also picked up these lashes from ardell that were on sale they were like three dollars and i'm gonna be using these in today's video we're also gonna be trying out a new foundation this is the photo focus stick foundation um i think who hated this someone did not like this but Robbie by Christie and um Tati liked it and I love them so I'm really hoping I share the same experience and I like this so we're gonna try that today also I picked up this bronzer this shade was not there when I purchased the this bronzer last time when I went to what uh when I went to Walgreens last time this bronzer was there and I was like oh new bronzer I have to try it but it's honestly not for me it's a little orange and a lot of people I saw use this, they didn't like this one. They liked this one, which is Sunset Strip Tease. I've seen so many people use this and so many people say they love it. So we're going to try that. Last little goodie I got is this from the Rebel Rose Collection, by the way. That's what this is called. That's what this is called, the Rebel Rose Collection. They had another, this is a primer, but they had a serum there and it was so pretty. It had actual like rose petals in it. But I have enough serum, so I was like, you know what, let me not. Let me just get this one, 
which is a rose primer serum and then they had a rose toner spray and what else did they have they had that other little brush and they had a bunch of new uh catsuit lips so we're gonna go in with this first let me just get it open this was eight dollars i think and the packaging on this stuff is so cute it's kind of like wet kind of like leaked out i think it's weird okay so this is the wet n wild photo focus rose primer serum and as you can see it has little roses all across this reminds me of the farsali unicorn serum or unicorn primer i've never tried that but i've seen videos and i just know that's what it looks like so it's very liquidy very water-based it does smell like roses so we're going to use you know what bitch what am i doing i have not done my makeup in literal forever uh, yesenia like you need to prep i'm just going to go in really quick with my rose tonic from pixie i haven't done that or moisturized like girl get with the program here you have to tone get all that dead skin off so that you can have the best most prettiest makeup application hello Ugh, i'm so out of it hey sarah i'm gonna go in with my rose ceramide cream from pixie i use this stuff non-stop I just love it. So we're very, we're very rosy today, which I love. While this is sinking in, I'm going to go in with my gold spun lip balm from Tatcha. This is a um, primer serum. So I'm just is liquidy as hell so do hurry up i got some of it in my hair oh and it feels good oh my god no 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 do not go anywhere near that eyebrow i'll kill you So, I think I'm going to like this. And it smells really good. Then, I'm going to move on in to the Putty Primer from e.l.f. Again, everyone says this is the dupe for Tatcha Silk Canvas. I don't own that. I'm not crazy enough to spend $52 on a primer yet. I've been dying to try it. Um, everyone that's ever reviewed the dupes for these say that they're the exact same it's just that the tatcha one provides skincare so it's going to do things for your skin like moisturize it and whatever else this one is just gonna make your makeup look good so it's up to you boo whatever you want to do i'm just going to take some of this and really focus it on my pores and press it in just smooth it all over it does feel really good going on the skin though so that's why I just like so so bad want to try the Tatcha one but it's so expensive maybe if it ever goes on like sale or something but for now the elf one is really awesome so the base looks actually really good like those primers bitch my skin looks Repped. Okay, so I can't tell, like I have no idea yet if I want to go in with shadow first. And if I do, which one am I going to pick? Because I kind of just want to do one at a time, like one look with each. I don't want it to be too intricate. Just so that way, if you guys were thinking about buying one, you could decide which look you might want to recreate and buy that specific one. Although, if you like don't want to wait you might want to go cop them while you can because these are all limited edition and they are so freaking cute you guys like i'm i literally just bought them for the packaging i honestly don't even care how they perform just kidding like i wet model shadows are actually honestly really good 
Um, I've used their shadows plenty of times before in the past. I don't reach for them as much anymore just because I prefer a palette with a lot of variety. But don't sleep on Wet n Wild. Like, they have a lot of, like, duds, but they also have a lot of hits. Like, their Photo Focus Liquid Foundation, I love. That was my go-to for a really long time. And then, you know, I started the page, and I kind of tried all sorts of new foundations for you guys, so I didn't really just stick to one. But that was, like, my go-to forever. Like, I repurchased that probably, like, ten times. That's a lie. Maybe, like, three. <laughs> But anyway, okay, one thing went wild. Y'all need to stop putting so much wrapping on your packages. I can't ever get into them. Ugh. So freaking cute. On the inside of these little palettes, they look like lace. How cute is that? This one is called Bed of Roses, and I think I'm going to go in with this one today. I don't know, though, because the last couple of looks, it's been this color scheme, but it's just this shade is calling to me. I love it. Oh, my God, that's so pretty. So I think I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. The other one that I'm, like, really, really interested in is this one. This one is such a beautiful color story, and this one is called Secret Garden rendezvous <laughs> I really like this shade as well as this navy blue down here maybe I'll go in with this one just because I've never really used a blue like that what do we think what do we think I really like this shade oh this is so pretty if I was gonna recommend you guys to buy any of them I would probably say these two they're the most wearable but if you're a little adventurous and you like you know standing out then you're gonna really love this one and I don't know if there's any more palettes I don't know if they just came out with these three there was only these three at my Walgreens and there wasn't another spot for a different palette so I th I'm pretty sure it's just these ones but this one is called House of Thorns and it has this really really pretty green glitter a black and then a pretty like brick red and then like a gold glitter brown color so this one's really pretty too they're all stunning obviously i haven't played with any of them i don't know the quality of the shadows but oh my god i think i might need to pull in i don't know can i do a whole look with this oh my god that is pigment what do i do what do i do what do i do what do i do um, I think I'm gonna go in with this one again, the Secret Garden Rendezvous. I'm gonna have to put out my Jaclyn Hill palette for this just to get a transition color in there because I don't want to go in with a glitter shade in my crease. I'm just not trying to do that right now. So I'm just gonna go in with one of the neutral shades from the palette as a transition just to get something in there. Um, for those shadows to blend into okay so there's just a nice quick little simple base going on there next sis what do i do <laughs> i'm like what do i do here i think i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take do i know what i'm doing no i don't but do i I don't. I think I do though. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this maroon shade down here with the same brush. And I like don't want to use this. Oh my god, that is pigment. Like I literally barely dip my brush in there. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't really want to use this because, oh my god, yes. Wet and Wild, I fucking can't right now. Like, that was literally just like the slightest tap. That's a lot of pigment. So far. And that's a pretty, pretty, pretty shade. Anyway, I was saying I don't want to use these shadows because I don't want the rose imprint to go away. It's so pretty. I'm just packing this all over 
the entire lid, kind of diffusing it to make it lighter towards the inner corner. But that like, I'm shook, like that blended out beautifully, like, <laughs> I really am digging this color. You guys see this, like, don't, don't sleep on Wet n Wild, like, <laughs> don't. So, if you're like, one of, like me and you're just like, oh my god, I, need, I want some more makeup, like I want to buy new makeup, definitely try out a lot of these new products from Wet n Wild because they're cheap, but they're good. So, next, <laughs> bitch, I think I'm gonna take this blue on the outer corner. I don't know though. Do, should I? Like, I think I'm gonna. There's like some really pretty glitter in it. It's really dark, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna go in. This one doesn't pack as much pigment on the actual brush which I'm not like upset about because I don't want it to be too dark but I still want it to be like noticeable and I'm using a Morphe M433 brush for this and I'm just dragging it towards the center this one's really pretty I, I want to do a look with this like literally all over my eyelid like packed on because it's gorgeous and it's like turned into kind of like a purple thing going on here but I'm just packing it on the outer corner here and sweeping it in next we're gonna cut the crease this is the new elf camo concealer I am in the shade fair warm I was between this and fair peach um I like more yellow undertoned colors so fair warm it was I'm pretty sure fair warm is the lightest shade there was nothing else lighter that I saw. I could be mistaken, but I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe M4, M4, M213, literally a small, small detailing brush. And this concealer I've used like twice and it's very pigmented and creamy. I'm just gonna go for like a half cut crease moment here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this pretty shade all over the lid. This is a very different look than anything I've ever done. I'm digging it. Next, I think I'm going to go in with one of these two. So I purchased these from Ulta when I got my putty primer. These are the Revolution Flawless Foils in the shade Rebound and Rival. These are kind of like cream shadows, but the whole point of them is that they're foiled. So that's cool. I think I'm just going to take these just like a little bit, like a pop. And it comes with a primer, but... I don't know that the primer does anything. It's already like a cream consistency, but when I watched the video on these on um, Makeup Revolution's website, they said to take this primer, intensifying primer is what it's called, and you put it one to two drops on the actual container, and then you like mix it in. I don't know. I don't really think it does anything because the product is already really creamy you can't even see this it's already really creamy and pretty so but I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my finger and pop it right in the center of this just a little bit just because I can't like not have glitter I just can't this is a pretty look wet and wild this we need to talk like you guys they're kind of like running the game right now like not like everything but i've been seeing them a lot they've been in a lot 
of videos. <laughs> okay guys, so the lashes are on. We can finally move in to the base. I will be doing more looks with these um, quads in the future, so you'll want to be watching out for that. Again, the palette that I went into today is the Eyeshadow Quad Secret Garden Rendezvous from Walgreens. Excuse me, that's the only place I've seen them so far. I don't know if they're on Ulta's website. I don't know if they're at Walmart yet. I don't know any of that. So let's go ahead and finish this look off. <laughs> it's already really, 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 really long. And I just realized I had the new Zodiac pigments from ColourPop. I bought four of them. And I guess none of them really would have went with this look. I purchased the crab, the scales, which would have been really pretty the water bear which is a really deep blue and then the maiden so i think what i'm going to do is take the maiden in the inner corner once um my base is done so we're going to go in with base makeup and i don't know that this is going to match me like perfect exactly so this is how much product you get it's kind of short, but it's like fat, so it's not like a skinny thing. It's like a fat stub. And this has 0. 0.42 ounces or 12 grams. That's not a bad color match. This is in soft ivory, so let me just do a couple streaks. Hopefully it doesn't give me acne or anything. I've had really clear skin lately. And I'm not trying to get any breakouts right now. I mean, no one ever really tries to get breakouts, but you guys know what I mean. This is the Pro Precision Face Brush from Luxie. That's actually like a really good color match for me. I'm actually going to take just a little bit more because I can tell that I'm going to need it. Just build up that coverage while I'm like already initially blending it in. But it's really shearing out the foundation. Maybe that was a mistake. It definitely is a medium coverage foundation, that's for sure. Use the Fair Warm Concealer from e.l.f. And I'm going to go in one eye at a time because it's drying. Like it dries down really fast. And so I don't want to like put both sides on and then the other side dry down by the time I get to it. So I just like doing it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna just let that do its thing really quick. I wanna see what happens if I don't bake it. But I am just going to do a light dusting of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, just like a light set. Because I don't know how this foundation wears. I don't really wanna risk not setting it, so. Just doing a light dusting of powder. So, Sunset Striptease. My lighting is awful, but it is a very cool tone bronzer. Oh, there you go. So this one's just a little more orange and this one's just a little more cool toned. You can see that. So this is Sunset Striptease. It does have shimmer in it as well, so. We're nervous for that. I'm just going to go in using my color, my color pop. Why do I always like it? These two confused. The Wet n Wild brush from their holiday set. Oh, actually, you know what should I use? Okay, I'm going to use this brush. The Rose. I think it's a blush brush. It says blush brush on it, but I don't know about that for blush. 
so, and it's so soft, I can't. This is really gonna pack the color on, so maybe I should. Okay, I'm just gonna do a light tap. And if it's too heavy, I'll go in with that other brush. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> okay, this to me is like a foundation brush. Like it's like a kabuki brush or something because it's densely packed, like it's not like fluffy at all. So I think this would more be better suited as a foundation brush to like buff in the product. I'm not gonna use that for this because um, it just packed on way too much. But this bronzer is hella pretty. Oh shoot. I've been hearing a lot of beauty gurus talk about it and I'm just like, okay, Ticket to Brazil sucked. But this one, Sunset Striptease, is actually really pretty. And it doesn't look glittery. Like it has like a sheen when you swatch it. But on the actual face, it's not as bad. I wish my lighting would not be so freaking stupid. Um, freaking check yes on this bronzer. This bronzer is beautiful. Definitely pick that up. It's like four dollars. I really like that. I very much so enjoyed that. This brush is so densely packed. I swear it just meant it should be a foundation brush because you can really buff it the the product in. But that's just my thought. I'm gonna go in using my all-time fave, the Laura Geller Tropic Hues Baked Blush. I use this one literally almost every time. Okay, so now that my base is on, I need to go in and finish the lower eye to make it all blend together. So this is the Maiden Pigment from ColourPop Girl. Oh, the fucking lids always fall off. This is what it looks like. It's a super gorgeous. The camera is literally not doing anything for it. Um, it's a really pretty shimmery white color. And I'm going to go in and mix it with a little bit of setting spray right on my hand. Because it transforms it like... These pigments, wet and dry, are just completely different. And I really like them wet, so. That's why I wet it. Dude, I kind of just want to use this all over my face as a highlight. Like, I really do. It's so pretty. The ColourPop Mascara in Blue Your Mind. This is the BFF Mascara. I was so tempted to buy the black one, but I just have so many mascaras. I kind of wanted to buy something new and fun and I was wearing this mascara um in my Instagram post that was like total garbage but anyway I have used this on the lashes and it's pretty pigmented it matches my nails it's blue like hi hi can you see me I know you can so I'm just gonna take this on the lower lash Oh my god. It's 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 here. I'm gonna go in with my Pixie Delicate Dew highlighter. Cause I feel like being intense. I just do. And this gives me that, so. I do love a good glow, a good poppin' glow. I think I'm just gonna do it. Like, I just, I wanna do it. So I'm gonna take the Maiden ColourPop pigment because it's so pretty and I want it to gleam all over my face. So I'm just gonna take this little brush and dab and ooh. Spray it down, tap off the excess, 
just a little. Yes. Yes. Now we're freaking talking. Just a little bit. Look how pretty. Look is complete. Just kidding. I need to do my lips. My lips are so chapped. I'm, I'm such a... Now you can see that blue. Do you see that? I'm blue. Na, 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 na. I'm putting on more chapstick because my lips are fucked. So I'm just going to take the Rimmel Che B. I don't know what that means. Lip liner. It's a really pretty pink. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Pinky is Up. Oh, I'm going to go in with the Plumping Serum Sugar Sugar Gloss from Hard Candy. It's one of my absolute faves. It's just, I don't know that it necessarily plumps. I don't ever feel plumping. So I think, it, I don't know that it like is saying that it's going to like be like a tar, not tar, uh, Too Faced plump injection I forgot lip injection lip gloss I don't think it's like that I think it's just saying it's so glossy it looks like you plumped your lips I think I don't know yes yes I need to set the face using my freaking favorite at the moment the morphe continuous setting mist just a couple because I'm not trying to waste it I just don't want to waste it so That's a couple for me, okay? Well, there you guys go. Here is a look using some of the new products out on the market. These little quads are absolutely stunning. I'll probably insert some clips of me swatching them. But so far, I'm telling you to go grab these. They are limited edition and they are super cute and affordable. This, I think I'm actually really loving. I really like how it applied. As you can see, it's very liquidy. It's not like a thick oil. So I think I'm really going to enjoy that as a serum, um, like a primer before primer, you know what I mean? Um, I cannot wait to play with the rest of my ColourPop goodies. I think actually, you know what? I'm just going to take it there. I'm just I'm going to take it there. I'm going to go in with one of my liners and, and probably the shade Piggy Bank, the purple one. Yeah. Just because, I don't know, I'm feeling color right now. So, this is the ColourPop Crayon Liner in Pinky Bank. She purple, honey. So, freaking cute. Okay, so love the shadows. Love this brush. I think I want to try it for foundation, though, because as a bronzer, bro as a bronzer blush, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't that. Um, loved the St. Ives Hibiscus Eye Gels. I'll definitely be using the sheet mask as well as that spray. The ColourPop Mascara is super pretty and vibrant. They had all sorts of colors, you guys. So if you want a colorful little pop, definitely check those out. The primer, the uh, Silk Canvas Dupe, the Putty Primer. I really have been loving. That is my second time using it. And it's really freaking pretty. What else did I try that was new? That bronzer, that freaking Sunset Strip bronzer get your hands on it because it is like a natural glow from within it is so beautiful um these foils are really pretty these were on sale at an Ulta when I bought them so I don't know if they're gone but they were only two bucks so you might want to check those out the concealer is heavy duty um I've only tried it twice and so far I like it um I think that's all the new products if I'm missing anything I didn't hate anything so Everything that's on my face right now, I'm actually really loving. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope I see you guys in my next one. Hopefully I can make, make one soon. I can stay on track, you know. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.